Yes, you have to Okay. Welcome to Tea Time at the Tea Factory. My name is Joe Groves. And my name is Elliot Groves. And this is Tea Time at the Tea Factory, where we introduce artists who have skills and talents, and we want to have the artists have an opportunity to display their skills and talents. Today we have Angel Perez. Um, I'm a local freelance artist, professional, been teaching for a few years now. Uh, teach in Boyer Town. Uh, I have a couple classes out there. Uh, one is creative design for you know kids ages 12 and up, and the other is for as a Thursday. Um, uh, it's an intro to life drawing. It's a uh, pretty much for beginners. We go into the basics of line and form and texture and shading, and we introduce live models for that and allow them to. Mm -hmm. Express themselves. How did you get interested in art? Well, sorry, what, what, what was your motivation? <laughs> uh, believe, believe it or not, just a lot of comics and uh, cartoons as a kid that started me off. Um, after that, I pretty much picked up a pencil and went from there. Uh, after, once it became more apparent that art was going to be a career thing when I hit ninth and tenth grade year in Reading High. <laughs> and, I, and I actually, and I actually began to uh, sell my art. Actually, I was doing a lot of like small Looney Tunes caricatures and uh, just selling them for like five dollars a pop. Or and, wow, oh my gosh, I wish I could learn how to use Looney Tunes. How did you develop your art? What did you? How did you educate? Get educated? Um, I, did a, I taught myself a lot actually. I went to libraries, bookstores, picked up the art books and just went through it and just sat there for hours going through each page and sketching out what I saw. Oh, wow. Abraham Lincoln Hortis, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, after I moved into Shillington, I had, <laughs> unfortunately, who's up? I don't know you guys are redneck fans. But uh, after I moved to Shillington, um, uh, I had took it and got really, really into art uh, with my high school teacher, Miss Christine Allen, I believe. She really uh, motivated me into going out there and getting my name uh, out there, going to the God Works and talking to other artists and really getting into that whole experience. Um, if actually, if it wasn't for that teacher, I wouldn't have found my art college in yeah. Philadelphia okay. and went from there. What was the name of your college? Cool. Um, the name of my college was Hushin School of Art in Philadelphia. What's your major method and means? What what do you do mostly? Um, mostly graphic design and illustration. Um, I do. I just got into a lot of traditional portrait work, so um, mm. it's got some going on, but uh, not as much as I would like to. Um, mostly working on my graphic novel. Okay. And got a little bit of that in here. Um, I work on a friend's graphic novel, mine, uh, Travis Johnson, Travis Jones. What is Johnson? What is a graphic novel? Uh, a graphic novel is pretty much, uh, it could be anything from fiction to high fantasy, but the graphic novel goes into a very well written script, but with very highly detailed rendered graphics. Yeah. So it's, for lack of a better word, it's not a comic book. Yeah, no, no, it's more or less, uh, it's like uh, you, you pick up a graphic novel from a store and then you see a lot of content and then great illustrations. Okay. 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 So, uh, how is the Tea Factory helping you? Um, the Tea Factory actually gave me a, a nice good start with um, getting out here locally a little bit more. Uh, I had to say uh, a lot of my first graphic design work right out of college came through here oh, really? with, uh, with the offers from the Jim Berner uh, design to the Reddit Theater Project to um, uh, 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 fun events. There was a, a fellow named Joe Domino who came in for poster designs and we just kept, we just kept going. Who was the first person you met here? You, you remember? The very first person would be uh, Peter and Cindy. Okay. <laughs> the very first two people. I like that. Uh, is your art on display any place? And do you have a studio? Um, I do not have currently have a studio of my own, but occasionally my art will be displayed here mm -hmm. and uh, at in the gallery at Studio B. 
Studio V is, is in Boyertown. It's a um, uh, small gallery space. It's a very long hallway, room in the back. Uh, the mm -hmm. classes are being held at the back. Mm -hmm. you know. So you're you're also a friend of oh, the Gina, students. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually uh, very affiliated with Art Corner Group with the Art Corner. Um, okay. Dot net. I actually have a feature artist on there, so a lot of my work is on there. And that is called what again? Um, Artcorner.net. Artcorner.net. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Giving short term, long term objectives. Where do you want to be in a month, a year, five years, 20 years? Um, <laughs> very ambitious, actually. Uh, I'm going into a lot of production work, so I'm high, high scale, like high rendered concept scenes for like video games and movies and stuff like that. I want to get into photoshopping and digitally enhancing those images mm -hmm. and creating new concepts and new worlds of my own for the book and for, you know. When you teach, do you just teach studio art? Do you teach electronic art? When you say you teach, what do you teach? Um, when I teach, I teach the, the, the fundamentals from basic drawing, basic sketching and designing basic concept work. Uh, for digital, I'll get into the basic techniques of Photoshop and Illustrator, and digital painting, rendering. Um, so if someone like me came in without any skill or talents, you would accept me? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't say hit the road? No, <laughs> okay. not at all. Um, I believe anybody can learn art. Okay. And, uh, no matter what age, what skill level, I believe if you can draw a stick figure, maybe <laughs> we can, I can show you how to get the rest of the meat the meaty forms on there and you'll be able to draw a full-fledged workable figure in no time. So you're inviting everyone who has any interest in art at all Yeah, um, anybody to from, come join you. Yeah, from the beginners, definitely. I, I like to get people started and get them inspired to enjoy art. You're inspiring me to <laughs> take lessons. <laughs> if somebody were to want to contact you, uh, what's your contact information? Um, it would be Angel Perez seven hundred at yahoo.com and uh, that also is directly linked to my Gmail. My 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 uh, I get it right to my phone. So if you want to contact me, I'll, I'll respond right away. It's Angel Perez seven hundred at yahoo at yahoo.com. Yahoo mm -hmm. um, I'm currently working on my new website. Um, that's sorry, that's not up and running right now, but it, it's in the works. Um, there's a lot of big things going on actually. I'm up, going to be a part of a large scale event happening next year. About uh, it's going to be on Earth Day actually. In um, Reading. Yes, in Reading. It's going to be uh, when it when you hear about it, you'll hear about it in the Reading Eagle all over the uh, media. Where it's going to be really well sponsored. I'm going to be working with no local artists like Ed Terrell, uh, Rohan, Gene Esther. Uh, Juan Ruiz, uh, Juan Carlos Ruiz, uh, also another artist from the um, uh, God, uh, God Works. It's going to be a big event. Um, there's a event in Philly that's also coming up called Raw. I'm going to be a part of that through, uh, well, through the work of my graphic novel and working with Gene and Meta Sabian and that comic series. Raw. Okay. Um, so this is one of my uh, earlier landscapes. It's quick. It was done on. Uh, little poster board uh, gessoed over for texture. This one actually a lot of people quite enjoyed and liked. Um, the, they say it reminds them of uh, Devil's Peak. It's a uh, it's a um, a uh, alien m mythological site or something that people will say that there's been sightings of you. This one is actually a part of the Human Nature series that uh, me and Gene Esther were working on. This was actually hanging up in a gallery in uh, Boyertown for a good couple months. Uh, hung up in um, Boyertown. I, I this one was actually done at a farmer's market. It's more or less uh, an, an inspiration from a bird's eye view. And this one here actually it was inspired a, a lot of more or less my spiritual journey in life. It. Uh, also ties into the Metasabian comic book, which is a graphic novel um, uh, who was created by Gene Esther, a friend of mine, and I also have a nice uh, interconnecting story to go in with it. 
but essentially this was my character and it, it, it goes into my emergence out of the darkness which is the static darkness and into like the green light that is love from the heart chakra and it actually goes into all the chakras from the crown the third eye the throat all the way down to the root chakra and the background really is more or less the universe and the ever expandingness of it which is more or less a, a mesh of color and, and light so this actually represents a lot of my uh, my break out of what would be called the void to some people. <laughs> yeah, that was great, it was fun. Um, I really did enjoy like everything. Like, uh, I was really excited. I had no idea what was gonna go about, like what was gonna fly out as it did. But we it, were excited too. 